I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. Welcome to episode 26 of Hashtag Friday Sews. A big, huge thank you to Jen from today in Jen's sewing room for creating this hashtag. I am feeling particularly grateful this week because this hashtag and this YouTube channel has allowed me to meet so many wonderful people out there. And um, if it wasn't for this hashtag, yeah, I don't know that I would have started my channel and I definitely would not have met all of those amazing people out there. So yes, thank you, Jen. All right, so Friday Sews is all about uh, what's been going on in our sewing room, what we've got planned for the upcoming week, and a little bit about life. So in the sewing room this week, there's been a lot of small things happening. <laughs> um, I didn't have a whole lot of time to sew, um, because of, you know, work and life. But I did finish my So Purple to End ALZ 22 entry, and I'm super, super happy with it. So in the end, during last Friday So's um, video, I was still debating what I wanted to make with my beautiful, beautiful purple fabric. And I didn't know if I should go with the TNT or try something new. In the end, many of you said, just go for a TNT. If you love the fabric that much, don't risk trying something new with it. <clears throat> so I did, and I made the Love Notions Rhapsody blouse. I've done the Rhapsody a number of times now. Um, I love it. It just, it's a nice, fun sew. It fits me. I love the look. And um, yeah, I changed things up a bit with the collar. I didn't use any ties. I just finished, um, I basically put the binding on the neckline on the inside completely, completely so that you don't see it here. You just see it in the V. And I made no other changes. So I made a straight size XL, um, shortened, and my pattern has been shortened now by three inches um, and, uh, and a half inch, quarter inch, half inch narrow shoulder adjustment. So my pattern has been altered forever now. So it's, yeah, I, I don't need to, I don't need to adjust it. I just cut and sew and I love it. And I think it looks amazing in this beautiful cotton lawn from Core Fabrics. It's not as um, flowy and drapey as my other Rhapsodies, but I really, really like it. Um, the pictures I'm going to show you were taken at the end of the day, and I'd worn the blouse all day. So it's a little wrinkled, cotton wrinkles, but yeah, I love it. I'm so happy. And it is now officially entered in Michelle's challenge on Instagram, which it's not too late. Um, today is the 16th, so we're only halfway through the month. So between now and the end of September is plenty of time for you to make something purple. Doesn't need to be a garment, can be anything, can be a bag, a quilt, um, anything in purple. You can knit it, you can crochet it and enter it on Instagram with the hashtag so purple to end ALZ22 and then tag Michelle the real Michelle sews again on Instagram. Now if you want to know more about the challenge and uh, Michelle's story and link to Alzheimer's um, I'm going to link Michelle's YouTube channel below and her intro video for the challenge. Highly encourage you to have a look at the video, if nothing else, and uh, look at the information she provides on dementia and Alzheimer's. And if you can, she's got a tribute page to her dad where you can make a donation for Alzheimer's research. 
So yes, yeah, so I'm very, very happy with my entry into the challenge. And that was pretty much all I got finished this week. I did get started on my Stanton hoodie, which was in my plans for September. So I cut all of my fabric last night, not the night before. So I am ready to start sewing that when I get back to the city on Sunday evening. So I'm really, really hoping to have that done early next week so that I can then start on my Chilton trench coat. So I have the fabric, the pattern is assembled. I want to make a muslin, although I'm pretty confident it's going to fit me um, because cashmere patterns, after I make the adjustments I make for every one of their patterns, uh, pretty much fit me without any issues. So in cashmere patterns, I always start with an 18 EF cup at the bust. I grade out to a 20 at the waist and hips. I make a half inch narrow shoulder adjustment and I usually shorten the length under the waist. So if there's no shorten or length in line, I basically cut through um, the pattern under the waist. And I usually shorten them by about two and a half inches, I think. Yeah, but for this trench coat, I don't think I'm going to need to do that because I want it long anyways. And the, the waist in cashmere pattern seems to hit me okay. Yeah, most of the time. I do sometimes have to adjust, but anyways, I'll have to see. I'll make a muslin. The bottom line is I'm going to make a muslin. I'm rambling over here. So, yeah, so the plans are to sew up my Stanton uh, start on Sunday. If I can't finish on Sunday, then definitely finish it on Monday and then get started with my Chilton trench coat muslin so that, fingers crossed, I can have it done by the end of September. The weather is getting a little bit cooler in these parts, so the mornings especially are very chilly. And not that I ever go out in the morning. I mean, I work from home, but uh, pretty soon I'm going to need some kind of jacket to leave the house. So I really want to have this trench coat all done by the end of September, if I can. I did receive some fabric this week that I thought I would share, and it's right here. So I ordered three cuts of the exact same fabric. Um, this is a bamboo cotton stretch fleece from a Prairie Love Knits. I ordered from that shop. It's a Canadian shop, and I ordered from them back in the late winter, I think. Um, and I had ordered this bamboo fleece from them in red to make myself a top. And I really, really like that fabric. So I ordered the, the exact same thing, but in three colors. So I got it in this beautiful green. The color is called Moss. This is really nice and soft. Um, it's pretty stretchy. It's got a quite a bit of stretch in it. And this is for my daughter. So my October make, is it October or September? Yeah, this should have been done in September, but whatever. My next make for my daughter is going to be the Slow Pants by Mated Patterns in this beautiful bamboo fleece. Then I ordered the wine color. And this is it right here. And with this, I have two and a half meters. I'm going to make myself a Blackwood cardigan by Helen's Closet, which I've done many of them. Um, love it. It goes together super quickly. Fits me like a glove. So Blackwood cardigan by Helen's Closet. And then I ordered the black. Um, and this is also going to be a cardigan for me. I desperately need a black cardigan. The one I have is ready to wear. It's about, oh, it has to be at least four years old and it's definitely seen better days. It's pilled. Um, 
the color has faded. It's really not the best. So I'm going to make myself a cardigan with this black bamboo fleece. But I think I'm going to try a new pattern. I'm going to try the Grab a Cuppa cardigan by Pattern Emporiums. I've heard many very good reviews about the pattern. It has, I like that it has optional buttons. I think this would change things up a bit. Um, and it's, it doesn't fall straight down. It goes into almost like a V-neck and then down. So yeah, and I mean, I have had trouble getting the Pattern Emporium patterns to fit me properly but i'm thinking a cardigan is pretty forgiving especially like an open one so yeah i'm gonna give it a try with this black one i may try yeah i really don't want to waste this fabric so i may use one of my less precious knit fabrics to to make the grab a cuppa uh as like a wearable muslin before i cut into this black fabric but yeah i love these colors how nice is this so yeah so these won't happen probably until october at this point because my september dance card is pretty full but yeah uh definitely in october another thing that i got this week is uh the everyday style fall 2022 capsule guide so i've mentioned this a few times on the channel last year so last fall i purchased the annual bundle of these capsule guides so i got the winter spring summer and now the fall capsule guides and I mean, you can, I'll link to the Everyday Style website below, but basically this is a guide where Jennifer McMary provides you with like 39 items that would go into your capsule, shows you how to mix and match them all. Um, there's even, I mean, it's supposed to be ready to wear garments. So she provides you with a database of links two garments you can purchase from a bunch of different stores um, in all different sizes. And she also gives you a color palette for this season. So I really, really like the colors um, in this season's palette. So there's a black, there's a wine color, there's a emerald green, um, a light pink, a white, I mean, I love those colors right up my alley. So the, actually the wine and the black uh, bamboo that I bought is just going to fit right into my plans for the capsule. So what I'm going to do this weekend um, at the cottage, because I can't sew at the cottage, I'm going to sit down with the capsule guide and plan all of my makes for October, November, December that will help me put my capsule together. Um, I kind of fell off the wagon with that in the summer just because like none of the, um, it, I don't know if it was the colors or the actual pieces in the capsule, but they really didn't really inspire me. But this time she's got some really cool pieces in the capsule. And I, like I said, I love the color palette. So I think I'm going to have fun with this one. So I'm going to sit down, think about what I already have, because I do have quite a bit of like fall, winter clothes in my closet. So I'm going to look at what I already have, what I'm missing, and then plan those uh, makes over the next three months, I would say. I'm probably not going to buy the winter capsule because, I mean, whatever I make in the fall... I can wear into winter so I'm looking at this more as a my winter my fall winter capsule plans that I'm going to be working on this weekend and then maybe next spring I'll think about buying the guide again and have that be my spring summer capsule but anyways so I'm excited I that hit my inbox yesterday so all weekend I'll be dreaming up my fall winter plans now, as far as life, um, I don't, I don't like to talk about 
weight or weight loss or any negative things about my body or anybody's body on my channel. Um, but I had a bit of a wake up call earlier this week. I went to see my doctor and just to make a long story short, I've, I have put on quite a bit of weight in the last three years. Um, and I am now on medication for high blood pressure. My cholesterol is a little bit high. Um, I don't move nearly enough. So I've got pains in my back, in my knees, in my hips, and my feet. It's, it's just not great. And a lot of the weight that I put on is in my midsection, which is probably the unhealthiest um, extra fat you can have on your body. So anywho, my doctor was not pleased with me. And <laughs> she's, um, she's basically prescribed uh, exercise and uh, weight loss. And when she sees me again next year, she really wants to see a difference. So, I mean, that will mean that some of my me maids won't fit me anymore. So I got to think about that when I make my plans for fall winter. I definitely need to get healthier. Um, I've not been feeling great, hence why I went to see the doctor. And so I need to, yeah, I just need to lose the, the few pounds from the midsection and get off my butt a little bit more often during the day. And uh, yeah, it's not going to kill me to go outside for a 30 minute walk on a daily basis and stop eating those chocolate cookies that I like so much with my evening coffee. So yeah, so that's the life update. Um, I'm not gonna talk about weight loss or my health journey or anything like that on this channel. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd share because it happened this week and it freaked me out a little bit. So there you go. And that will do it for me for this week. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you had a wonderful week. I hope you're going to have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Thanks again for stopping by. Please give the video a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. I am past 550 subscribers now. So thank you. Thank you for all of you watching who did click that subscribe button. And if you are watching the video and you haven't yet subscribed, please click that button and click the notification bell so you don't miss anything else. So thanks again, and I will see you soon.